Local News 8 in the morning continues. Welcome back. It is now 6.57. Here are your three things to know this morning. Number one, Bingham County officials are still searching for missing teen Jaden Jensen. Jensen was last seen Wednesday in the McTucker Ponds area. Search parties struggled last week with poor weather and emergency vehicles getting stuck in the mud. Officials say they will search again starting this morning. Number two, Judge Stephen Boyce is denying a request to move Chad Daybell's trial from Ada County back to Fremont County. As of right now, Daybell's trial is set to start in April of next year in Ada County. Chad Daybell is charged with the murders of J.J. Vallow and Tylee Ryan, who are the children of his wife, Lori Vallow. He is also charged with the murder of his first wife, Tammy Daybell. And number three, Jefferson School District 251 will have a two hour delay today due to severe black ice on the roadways. You can find these stories and more on our website, localnews8.com. And don't forget to download the Local News 8 app as well. All right, let's check on the weather now with Jeff Roper. Okay, so this morning you can see some of the uh, snow that we're laying down. There's going to be some intersections that have some uh, fresh snow and all that's going to freeze up. And yes, black ice is of concern and we're not under any kind of advisories right now, but that's really can make things difficult, especially if you're dealing with uh, school buses. So good for them. We've got snow flying. This is Thornton at US 20. You get down around Soda Springs and on into Marsh Valley and we've got some showers that are pushing through there. Uh, Teton Pass this morning. I'll pass on that. And this is a live look at Viper Radar with snow showers that are going to continue. The winds are not quite as rough as they say were on Friday, but we're getting that rain snow mix from Malad all the way up to Mud Lake and on over toward Arco. So slow your roll and know that we've got uh, continued showers into the day today. Some of this will be slick and we'll take it from the 20s this morning to the low to mid 30s for the afternoon before we just uh, cinch things up tonight and everything that has flown or may melt will be frozen again. It'll be in the mid 30s by the time we get to tomorrow. So please be careful this morning. We've got some uh, frozen areas and uh, tips right now in Idaho Falls right there around 30 degrees. We got snow flying. It feels like it's about uh, 24 y'all. So uh, be aware of the cheese wagons and other people. All right, uh, thank you, Jeff. Be careful out there and we will see you at noon. Thanks for joining us. Your local news is now available on any of these streaming services and devices.